Hey guys, so today I will be filming a get ready with me video. So follow me into it. I have already applied eye primer and uh, tape on my eyelids because this is a glitter cut crease and I really want to get that straight edge. I am going to apply bronze taupe from L'Oreal on my crease as a base color. And I'm going to go in with my Stilo Soul palette and take the color individual on my crease. And that is an orangey brown color. Still with the same pa palette, I applied the color light on my eyelid and brow bone, which is a highlight color. And I reapplied the color individual. And from the same Stila palette, I will take the color Bean, which is a darker shade of brown, to the outer crease. And with a clean blending brush, blend it all together. Don't worry if you have some fallout. You can always go back with the color Light and reapply it to the eyelid and bubble if you really need it to. Now I'm going to take a gold eyeliner and outline my crease just to be a base for the gold glitter. I could not find the gold loose glitter so I just I found this gold glitter from Wet n Wild which worked pretty well. It wasn't, it wasn't really bad actually, it lasted me the whole night which I was surprised. I then took the gold glitter, not gold glitter, the gold eyeliner and applied it to my tear duct as a base as well. I then go back with the gold glitter and apply it to my tear duct. Don't worry if you have fallout again, you can always go back and clean it up with that color light on your eyelid. And with a black liquid liner or gel liner, whatever you prefer, outline your uh, lash line and we get out. I then take uh, the gold eyeliner and uh, apply it to my lower lash line. Drag down that, that gold glitter to your upper lash line so it meets that black liner. Then I take another black liner and apply it to my waterline. Now I'm prepping my eyelashes so I can apply the Sonia Keshek, I think that's how you uh, pronounce it, on me, on my, well, as close as I can get to my lash line. I then take the Butterfly Effect Mascara, I believe it's from L'Oreal, not probably from Maybelline, and apply it to my lower lash line. I take NYX Pore Filler and apply it all over my face. I am taking a brow gel and just to tame my brows so they look on bleak and apply it to my eyebrows. And with my favorite foundation at the moment, which is the Milani 2-in-1 foundation and conceal it and apply it. I am blending that with my beauty blender and make sure you when you apply foundation, you blend it all the way down to your neck and some of your ears. Just so you look like you're all in one. I'm taking my concealer and concealer concealing my dark circles and my imperfections. While I'm taking the Master Fix, which is a loose powder, and apply it all over my face so I can get a matte finish. 
I now take my contour palette, which I believe is from Lau Marie, and take contour number one, which is the lighter shade, and contour my nose, my cheeks, and under my chin, so it doesn't look like I have a double chin. And I'm blending that with my beauty blender. I'm now going to highlight the bridge of my nose, my cupid bow, and my cheekbones with the same contour palette. And blend that all together. With the Master Contour, I'm going to take the contour shade, contour my face, uh, apply blush, and highlight my cheekbones and my cupid's bow. And with the clean brush, I will blend that all together just because I like everything to look natural. I am now going to line my lips with the color Warm Me Up from Maybelline. I'm going to take the same color, which is Warm Me Up from Maybelline. I am now going to take my setting spray from L'Oreal and apply that to my face so my makeup sets all day. Time for hair! Apply heating spray and I'm brushing my hair. I'm going to use a shirt here just to curl the ends of my hair. I do have long hair so this does take forever. Thank God I could do that. I know my my strap to hang the dress came out. I'm so sorry, it bothered me too. Wish I could I knew how to edit that out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned.